Summoning is pretty important in GS. Summoning will allow you to gain new power, allow you to beat content that you weren't able to beat before, and obtain some of your favorite characters from crossovers or just part of the Grand Summoner storyline. But every so often, these summons get their own little unique spin to it, which is known as the Forever Summon. A Forever Summon is a very special period where within a month or sometimes month and a half, you can log on every single day to do a single summon that will guarantee you get any single character in the game apart from ascended units at the current moment and crossover units. They'll never do crossover units for this. I'm just going to tell you right now. So you can imagine that means there's quite a bit of units to pick from and you could wind up messing up your forever summon and picking a character that really wasn't that worth it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some recommendations, some things that you should absolutely be going for in your forever summon. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you do not have this character, you are doing your account a huge disservice. And this character is the target. There is no other target that is greater than him in this entire forever summon. And I am talking about the one and only Haruto. Haruto is the best awoken support unit in the game currently. No one else does Haruto's job. This guy gives you some of the most powerful buffs in the game from arch shin to percentage based healing, arch damage up, and even able to lower earth res if you want to. Oh, he also will increase everybody's stats every single time he uses true art. A 10% increase by the way, it caps out at 30%, but uh, that also makes his percentage based healing even stronger. Guy is literally a menace. If you watch any one of my videos on my channel, I'm telling you right now, more than likely Haruto's in every single one of them and it's for a good reason. Now, if you don't have Haruto, is there anyone else worth getting in the forever summon yeah there are i mean there's not as good as haruto but you know this character is actually kind of similar to haruto at least in arch jenning but kind of fell off a little bit mainly just used as a support character now which is actually juno uh juno gives you tons of arch gen uh seven arts per second to be exact and the way she actually works is that she constantly drains her hp during her transformation but this allows her to generate tons of arts for the entire team while also dealing some pretty decent damage um not too good nowadays but just decent another thing that i could highly recommend for everybody would actually be all of the taunt tanks if you do not have any of these or you're missing one of them i highly recommend picking up one of these guys these guys are pretty much timeless first and foremost we have one of the oldest ones in the game thetis right here thetis really good he's a blood knight he's a little bit slow once you get him into his magia drive he gets lots of dr he can pretty much tank everything and also he gains arch gen based on however many times he gets hit which is just fantastic volti lr is another one he specializes in specifically physical damage res now does that mean that you have to only use him against physical boss fights no you could use him in magic boss fights too but he really really strives in those physical damage fights Miranda is just like Volti and just like Thetis, also a taunt tank, but she actually specializes in magic damage. She has tons of magic res passively in the kit. She's also a really strong magic damage buffer for the team. Oh, another thing about Miranda, peak waifu. I rest my case. Another character that's kind of more in the supporting lineup would actually be someone like Lisa. Lisa is getting a upgraded version soon, technically, which is going to be Star God Lisa. That will be her Ascendant counterpart, which is just this Lisa on steroids. However, if you wind up not getting that Lisa or you wind up missing out on her, having regular Lisa is still pretty good. But if you have Star God Lisa, though, you can easily skip out on this version of Lisa. It's not worth it. Sestina is another character. Sestina, still fantastic. This character is all about buffing up your physical damage while giving you a barrier and also giving you art gauge as well her slots are really good and overall just still really freaking strong even to today's standards the last two characters are the newest additions to the forever summon and these are actually really freaking strong charlotte is one of them charlotte is a fire unit that is actually a universal damage buffers this is extremely strong in any type of nuking composition or any time that you just want to buff up any kind of just damage you're doing another character that kind of fits this bill but even more specific and a little bit more niche is going to be valerie valerie is an insane water damage buffer she's able to apply one of the nastiest damage buffs in the game which is a 240 percent damage buff to all water units that are above 70 percent hp she is insanely good in so many different water nuke compositions and just buffing up different types of damage dealers even when ascended characters come out there are water units for an example she is going to be used alongside them to buff up their damage to godly heights yeah that's uh pretty much it for the forever summon everybody else that you would want to pick up is pretty much personal preference there are some other ones that like i could sit here and mention but the video will probably be like 30 minutes long like vox berwick water priscilla fire priscilla forte forte is a pretty good one if you're into nuking but yeah those are like the only other ones 
that I would mention. It's always good to have quite a bit of options going into the Forever Summon because the worst thing that you want to do is only have like one target. If you only have one target in the Forever Summon, the likelihood of you actually obtaining that character is extremely low. Even though a character like Haruto is the main target for a majority of people, the likelihood of you actually obtaining him is quite low unless you use all your available reroll summons on the Earth element specifically. And even then, it's still pretty likely that you won't be able to get him because it's all luck at the end of the day. So I guess that's one last thing I could tell everybody. If you are going for Haruto or aiming for a very specific character, you can wait for as long as you can to try to make sure you get that unit. But at the same time, if you get someone else that's on your list, I would highly recommend taking the other character that just popped up because at least that way you get somebody and you don't go the entire forever summon hoping to get that one character and you wind up never getting them. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. Tell me down below what you guys are going to be forever summoning this year. Um, I don't think the forever summon is going to get updated anymore this year. If it does, I'll be kind of surprised because I think we have pretty much all of the Awoken characters now in the Forever Summon, apart from like crossover units, of course. It's going to be a crazy day if they ever add like ascended units into the Forever Summon, but we'll have to see if that ever happens. As for me, the ones I'm going for, I actually didn't mention them, but Simon, of course, still don't got the man. Gotta pick him up if I can. Valerie, Charlotte, absolutely. Oh, and also Joker Celia. That'd be a good one. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all again for coming out. And last not least, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.